Hi there. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this moderator from Impulse Air. And um, talk to you a little bit about that. I don't know anything about moderators. Uh, I've never used a moderator. Uh, well, maybe, maybe that's not true. I do know two things about moderators. I know number one, the point of a moderator is to make your rifle uh, not as loud to suppress the sound. I do know that. And I guess the second thing I know about moderators is they go on the end of the barrel. So I do know something about moderators, but I've never used one. Uh, probably the reason I've never really used one, there's a couple of reasons, I guess. Uh, the first is um, accuracy. I, I never wanted to put anything on the end of my barrel that was going to affect my accuracy. And um, so that's a big deal. If you don't know, I shoot uh, field target. Uh, competitive field target hunter class and um, so accuracy is a really big deal and if you're not familiar with field target we're shooting uh, from 10 yards to 55 yards and the kill zone at 55 yards is an inch and a half and um, so accuracy is a big deal for field target so I don't want anything that's going to uh, negatively affect my accuracy uh, the other reason was probably because I didn't think my rifle was really that loud on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say maybe my rifle is a 5. I've certainly heard other field target rifles, 177 caliber rifles, that um, are much louder. And I've, I've heard some that are not as loud as well. And so I really didn't think it was a big deal. And where I live, I live out in the woods. Uh, I don't have neighbors very close that would complain about all the uh, field target practice that I, I do every week. Um, so there's nothing but woods and critters out in the, out there. So, uh, it's not really a big deal, but if you're a hunter for me, anyway, if you're a hunter and you want to keep the sound down to, to keep from scaring off some, some game, I could see why it would be, be a, a really good thing to have a moderator. Or if you uh, have neighbors that are close and you don't want to upset them or disturb them, I could see why you would want a moderator. But, uh, so anyway, um, I, Back to this moderator by Impulse Air. Uh, I was at the uh, the um, Pyramid Air Cup this year, and I just happened to be squatted with a couple of guys. Let's see, it was Tom and um, Scout Hines, two really nice guys, and uh, I was squatted with them, shot with them both days eventually, and um, I didn't realize it, but they uh, are from Impulse Air. And so had a great time shooting with them. And um, the banquet after the first night of, of the field target shooting at the banquet, um, Tom walked up and he, he handed me this box. And he said, here, try this. And I was like, well, what's this? And I opened it up and sure enough, if it was, if it was this moderator. And I was like, thank you. That's really cool. Finally, my chance to try out a moderator. And um, so this model... Make sure I get this right. This model is the IA-1350. They have two different models. Um, they have the IA-1350 and they have the IA-1200. This one retails for, uh, let's see, $239. And then the smaller one, it's a, the, the other model is not quite as long, not quite as big around, a little bit lighter. It's uh, $199. Now this model is uh, 4.6 ounces, made out of aluminum, made in the USA. So it's not very heavy, but the cool thing about this one is it's a modular system. So each of these baffles is, is this one has four baffles on it. Each baffle unscrews, so you can make this shorter or longer depending on what your needs are. And I did test this. It, if you make it shorter, it doesn't suppress quite as much sound. Um, also, these come in different colors, so that's kind of cool. You can customize your moderator. Uh, it's got a threaded end for a threaded barrel. Let's see, that's a, uh, I got it here, half uh, half inch, uh, 20 thread uh, threads that'll go on a, a barrel. So really nice moderator, okay? So I was going to test, and you know, I really appreciate the gift, and I was certainly going to test it, but my number one thing was accuracy. Now, there's no way I'm using this thing if it makes my groups open up, it's not going to happen. So I did uh, quite a bit of testing. I think I shot 500 pellets uh, through it with and without. I was also testing some other pellets at the time. Um, so accuracy was my, my, uh, my first 
uh, test. And I'm thankful to say the accuracy was not affected at all with this moderator. My groups did not change at all uh, with the moderator. Um, I will say that my point of impact did change. It was a little bit lower, but the good news is it was lower on all of my ranges, all of my all of my targets, all of my distances. So, um, and it was only like two clicks uh, of elevation. It was shooting a little bit lower, two clicks of elevation, and it was back to zero, back to where I expected to hit. I'm not an engineer, but I believe the reason for that is even though this only weighs 4.6 ounces you're putting it on the end of your barrel and my barrel is a floating barrel there's no barrel bands or anything like that um, you're putting just a little bit of weight way out there on the end of your barrel and just gravity is is just pulling that barrel down just a, just a fraction and that causes the point of impact to be a little bit lower but like I said two clicks of elevation and it was back to where I expect it to be not a problem um, I'm going to show you a little video now of uh, the first video will be without the moderator and then the next clip will be with the moderator on you'll be able to hear a difference now in the sound deadening uh, but the video really doesn't give it credit okay and I tried to download one of those apps on my phone uh, to measure the decibels but I really wasn't convinced it was a very scientific or accurate way to measure the decibels so I didn't really include it in this video, but you'll you'll hear a difference. Okay, so watch this video now. Okay, so hopefully you could hear the difference there, but to really understand how much it's suppressing the sound, you really kind of have to experience it in person. Um, so it's definitely a whole lot quieter. And really all the sound I'm hearing in my head, of course, is right there at the action. My ears are right there at the action. The only thing I'm really hearing when I fire a shot, and this is 177 caliber, is I'm really, all I'm hearing is the hammer hitting the valve hard. Um, I'm not hearing much else the, and to be honest with you the loudest thing in my shot right now is the pellet hitting the target to be honest with you um, it's much louder than what's coming from the gun so this thing really works now I took this to a match uh, a couple days ago I didn't tell anybody I had it on I didn't you know make a big deal about it um, so I just shot the match and I had people commenting just on their own wow your gun is really quiet so i think that says something it, it's it's definitely noticeable how much quieter it is now my gun like i said i think i said earlier i don't think my gun was super loud but it did have a little bit of a pop to it and so that this really uh really tampened that down so um the best way i can describe uh if i want to use this going forward so I didn't think I really needed it. I put it on, noticed the difference and how much more pleasant it was to shoot and just I just like the sound of it or lack of sound really. Um, and when I took it off when I was testing it, I kind of missed not having it on. I was like, oh this thing this thing is louder than I thought it was without it. So that's the best way I can describe it. I didn't think I needed it. I put it on, I liked it when I took it off I missed it all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is a thumbs up I think this is a a, a great product from um, from impulse air and I want to thank Tom and Scout for uh, shooting with me they were great guys and I, I appreciate this and I think you ought to check them out thanks a lot